Hey guys, it's Tony and we're back on the bench. And this morning, uh, we're going to be doing a little preview here of some spinning reels that uh, my buddy Dan uh, just dropped off with me and uh, he, he'd like to, to get them all cleaned up and serviced and whatnot. So, you know, we're looking at a big box of them here and there's there's quite a variety actually of, of spinning reels in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this off to the side here and we're just gonna pull them out one by one and we're going to have a look here. So, so here uh, it looks like we're looking at a Rapala. Uh, you know, it's probably a you know a combo reel. You know, off of a, a rod. You know, rod and reel combo. Uh, this reel, you know, it's a little rough and it's dirty. It looks like it's got some line chewed up in here. Probably one of the first things I'm going to do with all these reels is I'm probably just going to strip off all the line because it. Uh, it's it's pretty clear that this line is dated and you know lines should be changed out frequently uh, depending on how much the reels being used and stuff like that i mean it works it's uh it's just definitely in need of a cleaning you know it's it's kind of sluggish as i would call it you know um so no big deal there really i can hear a little bit of bearing noise so you know we'll see if we can clean up those bearings you know unfortunately you know reels like this you know, if if you start looking to replacement parts and stuff like that, you know, you're you're probably going to be, you know, spending a lot more money than the reel is actually worth. You know, uh, you know, but this is a great you know introduction type reel. You know, to you know anyone that's learning how to fish. All right, so you know we're gonna have a look at that and we're gonna see what we can do to fix that up. So moving right along. Uh, looks like we've got another uh, reel that's kind of similar to that. So this is a an Akuma fin chaser. Okay, this one is a little smoother than that Rapala. Looks like it's uh, functioning properly. You know, once again we've got some old line on here. Okay, so you know we're definitely going to do videos, you know, on all of these here. You know, it's it's not in too bad a shape though. You know, this is a nice little reel. You know, this is perfect for trout fishing, lake fishing, stuff like that. And then next, looks like we've got an old Shakespeare. Uh, you know, I uh, I recently worked on a reel uh, just like this, uh, probably probably a newer generation of the same reel. Um, you know, but again, another combo reel. Now you can hear there's a lot of ball bearing noise in that. Uh, probably not worth it to change out that ball bearing. It would probably cost more than the reel is worth at this point. But, you know, we're going to take it apart just for the sport of it anyway. And I'll do a video on that. We're going to see, uh, if, if we can, in fact, uh, you know, help along that ball bearing and quiet it down a little bit. All right. But this is pretty typical and common of these reels. It looks like it functions okay. Anti-reverse is working all right. Bale's firing. You know, so outside of that bearing noise, you know, I'm not sure what kind of shape the uh, the drag stack is in here. We'll have a look at that. Yeah, all right, so we've got a rusted drag stack. All right, so, you know, unless we want to change out all those washers, you know, this is probably something, you know, I don't even know if we can get this off of here. Yeah, we can, but it's it's pretty, it's in pretty rough shape. You know, it's definitely been fished a lot you know this reel over the years and it looks like it's been sitting now for a while okay but this is typical you know especially of combo reels you know you use them and they get banged up you know you didn't spend a fortune on them or anything like that you know this probably was attached to like an ugly stick or something like that okay but this is very similar these reels to the the alpha models that shakespeare had uh, you know for quite a number of years um, you know, just made from light, you know, plastics and graphites and, and components and stuff like that. So, and then here it looks like we've got a Daiwa, nice little Daiwa. This is a smooth operator, nice little little reel. Looks like it's working fine. Anti reverse is fine. It's quiet for the most part compared to those other reels. Anyway, it is. It probably just needs a cleaning and a lube more than likely. So, you know, we'll we'll get into that. You know, this also appears to seem like it could be kind of almost like a combo reel, though, to an extent, you know, but you know, it's not a bad, bad tool to have in the work box. 
But yeah, quite a variety of, of stuff we have here. So this is a, I think it's a Shimano, if I recall correctly. Katana, yeah, Shimano. So yeah, this is a Katana 4000 HG. All right, and this is a smooth operator too. All right, it, it's, got, it's got all this old line on here. You know, we'll probably strip all that off. It's a lot easier, I find, to work on reels uh, that just don't have line on them in general. And then what happens a lot of the time, as you can see, this, this line's gotten wrapped around already underneath uh, the rotor. We'll see if we can take off this, this, uh, this drag stack. Looks like the drag stack's in okay shape. But yeah, the, the line gets wrapped up under the rotor, gets caught up under there. So this is one of those reels that has this tab where you can pull the line over, okay, to prevent that from happening, okay, but sometimes it falls out. But yeah, it's a nice reel, not in bad shape. It's a little dirty. There's a little bit of sand in here. That's all right. We'll clean that up. Make sure the bale's firing okay. Yeah. And it looks like there's no anti-reverse on this, and that's by design. So, yeah, it's a nice reel. We'll work on that and do a video on that one. And then we start getting into some, some higher quality equipment here. So we're looking at a couple of pens next here on the deck. And looks like we got some line tangled up here, and and these are old school, uh, so they don't have uh, those those little tabs to to put the uh, the line on. But like I said, you know we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take this line off. But we're looking at a pen, a high speed, a 4400 uh, SS here. So you know these are these are great reels. Or I'm sorry, 440 SS. So. Uh, I know my buddy uh, just uh, picked these uh, reels up uh, amongst uh, some other reels, and, and these are great specimens, and, and these are specifically in great shape. There's not a lot of these out there anymore. So, you know, if you have these already and, you know, you want to learn how to work on them, you know, we're definitely going to do some video stuff on that here shortly but we're going to get this old line stripped off of here i know this reel works because i saw him use it uh, when we went out to the coast together uh to do some perch fishing so uh, you know this is just a beautiful beautiful specimen it's got the original torpedo handle knob on there and stuff like that so nice nice model and then it's big brother uh, we're looking at the uh, 450 ss ss stands for skirted spool okay uh, in opposed to, you know, the, uh, the, the, the earlier generations of the spin fisher, uh, which is like the Z series and the greenies where, you know, they're not, uh, you know, skirted spools. Okay. All right. But these are high speed. Okay. And, uh, they're, they're a great example of what a good saltwater, you know, spinning reel should be. Okay. So we're definitely going to do videos on these for sure. And then last but not least, We've got a, a somewhat rare model, rare find. So we're looking at a Finn Noor, Finn Noor Ahab, uh, size 16. Beautiful, beautiful saltwater reel. Uh, definitely a, a surf reel or, you know, for big game on a boat. All right, but, you know, it's, uh, it's solid. I mean, this is a tank of a reel. Okay, it spins nicely. It doesn't have any real signs of rust or corrosion or anything like that. I have not actually worked on one of these before, and so I'm definitely going to be doing a video on this. Okay, and we're going to be having a look at how this reel actually functions and works. Okay, but uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a serious tool right here, and it's nothing to laugh at. So, you know, in short, you know, what we're going to do is... You know, we're going to be taking all these reels and we're just going to go through them 
you know, one by one. And I'll, I will do videos on all of these at some point down the road here. Uh, so stay tuned for those. And if you, uh, you know, if there's a specific reel that you have, you know, an interest in, you know, you can feel free to drop that in the comments section. And I will definitely try to get to those first. Uh, you know, but this will be a good, uh, a good series of, of videos of a, a vast uh, variety of, uh, of spinning gear. So uh, thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification button. That way you will get all these updates as to when I have new videos being posted and there's going to be quite a few more coming out here shortly. So make sure you stay tuned for those and we'll see you next time.